I did not have women figured out until well into my 30s. And I had to go through a lot of experiences to really learn about female nature. So I created a list here of some of the biggest myths that a lot of guys think about women and I thought about women, let's dive in. First one, and I know I get a lot of pushback on this, that women are only interested in looks and they're only interested in money. So yes, there are women out there who will tell you they want a tall guy, they want a rich guy, they want a so-and-so race, they want him to make this amount per year. And yeah, I believe them. That is what they want. That's what they say they want. But how they act is a lot different. Women have this ideal version of what a man should be. But attraction is not a choice. That means when she finally comes into the presence of a guy who knows how to trigger attraction with behavior and behavioral cues, like his confidence, his charisma, just the way that he speaks to her, the way that he's able to hold a presence in front of her, when that is powerful, she will backwards rationalize why it's okay, maybe he doesn't have the height that I'm looking for, maybe he's not super rich, and she ends up liking the guy anyways. Those go much further than your looks and your money. Of course, those things are important, but only to a degree. In fact, I work with many clients in the Trip Advice Coaching Program who are 5'9 and below, and we get them girlfriends, we get them hookups, we get them dating all kinds of women because they know how to trigger attraction. So if you wanna learn how to do that, go to tripadvicecoaching.com, there's a link down below, and you can get on a free call with us where we can show you how we do that with guys all the time. Number two, this is an interesting one. It's about flirting over text. You're gonna hear from women say this. I like a guy who's a good texter. I like when he can flirt with me over text. Women will say that a lot, but no, that doesn't matter. Just because they want that doesn't mean it's what works. Okay, so when a girl is saying, oh, he's a bad texter, that means that she was probably never into him to begin with, and also he's probably a bad texter because he's not asking her out. Gentlemen, we don't need to flirt with the girl over text. All we need to do is ask her out. If she's interested, she'll meet up with us. If you start flirting with her and doing these, I don't know, fun little flirts or teases that you might find on the internet somewhere, you might actually make a big mistake and turn her off. So we don't flirt over text, we use it as a vessel to then get them to meet up with us and we flirt in person. Next myth is that women like gifts, they like flowers, they like chivalry. Women have said this a lot, chivalry is dead. Yeah, chivalry is only dead because they were never interested in the guy in the first place. Are you seeing a little bit of a theme here on this video? They weren't interested in him in the first place. Chivalry is, I guess, like the cherry on top. You can be chivalrous and open the door for her and walk on the right side of the road when you guys are walking and pull out her chair for her, all that stuff. But that is not what is going to get her over the edge. That's not gonna push her to the point where she's like, wow, I really like this guy. Let's just walk around all day giving women gifts and flowers and acting chivalrous. That stuff is not gonna work. That stuff has a little bit of a better effect once you've gotten into a relationship with the woman, but I even say that can be tough too because if you do that too much, then you're gonna push her away or if you are always giving her gifts all the time, you know what happens? It becomes obvious, it becomes boring, it's not as interesting anymore. Stop using chivalry and gifts to get her attracted. Instead, you use more of your personality and the behavioral traits. Next wonderful myth is that nice guys finish last. Maybe you've heard that before, those nice guys, a former nice guy over here, that was just super nice to women all the time, trying to get her attention by being nice and giving her attention and being the shoulder to cry on. And eventually, it might not work now because when you're younger, those girls go for the bad boys. When you get older, finally a woman is gonna look your way. No, it doesn't happen. Nice guys don't finish last, they never finish at all because women don't want to be with a nice guy. They want to be with a good guy, but not a guy who is using his niceness as a way to get her attracted because when you're trying to be nice and do good things for someone just to get them to like you, they see through that and they can tell instantly 
that it is a weakness. You need to learn how to get over those nice guy habits, get out of the nice guy syndrome. We also teach you that in our Trip Advice Accelerator Coaching Program. Again, link down below to get a free call with us to learn about how it works. But nice guys do not finish last ever. Next, this is a big one. The myth is women like lots of attention. And you might think that. It's intuitive, isn't it? That a woman might want to get a lot of attention from you, get a lot of text messages from you, try to see you all the time. Women might even complain. I mean, you might hear your friends, your girls, your friends who are girls complain about the fact that the guy isn't paying enough attention to them or they wish that the guy would text them more and hang out with them more. That means that, that woman is really attracted to that guy and she's probably really attracted to him because of the fact that that guy is not paying tons of attention. Women say they want a lot of attention, but they're only saying that because they like the guy so much that they want more. You need to make sure that you are not giving her tons of attention and you are pulling back to a degree, not texting her all the time, not trying to see her multiple times every single week. All of your attention is gonna also be shown as a weakness because it's gonna say, hmm, this guy has nothing better to do. He has nothing else going on in his life. He just wants to hang out with me all day. A woman might say she wants that, but in reality, she does not. That is going to be the disaster waiting to happen. The next myth is that all women are gold diggers. I know this is kind of related to what we were talking about on the first one, but it has to be talked about is that no, women are not all gold diggers just because they say they wanna be with a guy who makes a lot of money. Yes, there are some women who actually are gold diggers. They really only wanna be with a guy who's making a lot of money. And those women, maybe, maybe not, are gonna be looking and finding that person who is making a lot of money and, and that is their prerogative. But then there's these other women out there who say that just because it's in their DNA, it's in their nature to wanna to be with a guy who can protect and provide and so a salary or a guy who is, ha, has riches, has wealth, is a guy who can be able to do that. So she wants to be with that guy. But you don't have to be a super rich guy, nor is she only looking to see what kind of money you have. She just wants to know, at the end of the day, can she be with the guy who can provide a lifestyle that she can attach to that is going to help her have the lifestyle that she lives now, okay? So that means that she doesn't want to be with a guy who is broke, who's living in their parents' basement. She wants to be with a guy who has a living and is making a living for himself and has some sort of lifestyle. So you do need that at the end of the day. Here's the funny thing is you can actually not have any of that and still be able to sleep with women, but you won't really get too far in terms of getting into a relationship with the woman. So you do need to have that figured out to some degree, but no, you do not need to be a super rich, wealthy dude. Just because they say that doesn't necessarily make it true. Next myth is that women are only interested in long-term relationships. So this one, it's a little complicated. Every woman, yes, every woman wants to be in some sort of long-term relationship. That is true. That is a true statement. However, there are some women who will allow themselves and want to just sleep with a guy. So while they all wanna be in long-term relationships, there are some guys that they'll go, okay, I will just sleep with this guy and it doesn't have to be anything meaningful and it can be completely empty and that's what I'm doing with this specific person. So the idea is, is yes, they want relationships, but they also will just sleep with the guy and of course they are interested in having sex but it's very specific, the type of guy that they're gonna allow themselves to just have those more casual relationships with. Otherwise, they protect themselves because naturally they only wanna be with guys who they think are gonna be long-term. I have some more counterintuitive tips that talk about some toxic ways to get a woman interested. That's on the screen here so you can learn more about how to actually get her interested in ways you probably never heard. And if you need more help, Consider coaching, go to tripadvicecoaching.com. Link is in the description down below.